All right, Greg, let's see if we can get this uh, firmware uploaded to your machine. I'm uh, the new Marlin zip that you downloaded. Put it wherever you want, but just don't confuse it with any of the other older ones. And then that other one, you need this for your LCD also. So let's get uh, Arduino started. Remember, this one here you don't unzip, so just leave it in its zip. All right, we're going to start, start out by going File, Open, and we're going to browse to our desktop to that uh, Marlin folder, which is this one. And we're going to scroll down and we're going to select that um, Marlin source code right there. All right, and it's going to open up just what we ha had before. So let me back out a couple of things that I've already done, just, just so you'll see. What we need to do is we need to access this library. <clears throat> and what we do is we go under Sketch, Add, Import Library, Add Library. And here's where we're going to browse for that zip file. So I'll go to my desktop. I'm going to select it, enter Open, and it imports it into the Arduino software. So if you go under Sketch, Import Library, you'll see where it added it right here. Okay. It's important that your cursor be at the very top and go under sketch import library U A G lib. Okay, and you see it puts an include that references the files. Okay. At this point you can do file save and it's going to include that every time you open up the Marlin um, source file. And there's some settings in here. I've made set changes to them all. Serial port, that's your serial port com port leave it at zero they suggest and just unless you know it's something different baud rate changes the rate of data sent from your computer to the um, ramp in Arduino they suggest leaving it at this if you're not having problems if not change it to 115 200 um, your motherboard or your art your controller is a ramps number 33 and with the uh, extruder, a fan, and the hotbed. Okay, and here is where you set that number 33. You already set. You've got one extruder, got one power supply. Um, this is for your thermistor to control your temperature in your extruder and in your hotbed. Since we're both using generic hardware, they suggest using a number one 100K thermistor. And just put this down here for your um, extruder temperature. This would be if you had a second extruder this would be if you had a third and this is going to be for your hotbed which is a generic so we're using ID1 for that too alright so we can scroll down there's a lot of this we're not going to use we're going to leave it and we tweak it once we get ourselves going initially and make sure that we're we at least can communicate with everything the other settings you can just tweak later on once we understand them more fully um, looking for the area where we change so that we can use a um, LED, LCD screen. Let's see here. Okay, right here, LCD support. Um, yours, if you click these links, for example, yours is a rep prep discount, um, which is a real popular, and, and you would think because it says a rep rep discount, I'll click that link and it'll show us a picture of that. right here that that's the one it is but it isn't yours is a two row um, I guess 20 column it's yours is the rectangular one so we can close that and what yours is this is this one here if I click this it'll show us a picture of it and you'll have to correct me if I'm wrong if this is yours or not or very similar to it all right. Obviously, you can't see any of that right now, but uh, at least the name is conducive to what you've shown me. And yours is going to be here to um, activate. You see, they've got slashes in front of here. They're called comments. If I put a comment two slashes, it disables a graphic card. But take those out, it enables them. And it also suggests remember to install the U8 Glib to your Arduino libraries folder. So here's that, and we need that, and that's what I've downloaded right here. And remember, at the very top, we enabled that. So at this point, because we've got your card uncommented, it should be active and the information should be sent to the Arduino. And we can verify up top we're including that 
file when we did it from our sketch. At this point we can save it and it's going to compile that for us and if we don't get any errors, if we just get black and white text we know we're good and at that point you can upload. So obviously I don't have a Arduino yet so I can't upload it but it, there are no errors everything's good at this point you just click upload and then once you've done you may or may not need to power cycle your Arduino so I hope it helps and I'll see you online